Hey guys, Elparker77 here and welcome back to another Inform Silver Player Review. So this is going to be my second Inform Silver Player Review of FIFA 14. The first Inform Player Review was Inform Mboyo and this Player Review today is going to be of Inform Lasoga. So we'll jump straight into the review and Inform Lasoga is a German striker that plays for Hamburg in the German Bundesliga. He has 3 star skill moves and 3 star weak foot. On the Xbox he's been going for about 70k which is a lot cheaper than he was. I think the first one went for about 170k and then I wasn't sure if I be able to afford him but yesterday I did manage to pick one up for 60k so on the Xbox he has been around sort of 60 70k as far as I'm aware on the PS3 I think he's a little bit more about sort of 80 to 90k if you're interested in the team that I used him in then I either used him up front as a lone striker in my 4-2-3 on Bundesliga silver squad which I did show you in my last squad builder but I've actually used him a lot more in this hybrid here with Jesse Rodriguez and Drakowski and he's been really really good there we can take a look at his in-game stats now and he's six foot two. he is right footed, has medium attacking work rate along with medium defensive work rate, has the 3 star skill moves and 3 star weak foot and also has the power header trait. In his physical attributes he has 60 acceleration which does bring his sprint speed up to 69, also has 84 reactions and 92 strength. In the mental attributes he has 85 aggression and 76 attacking positioning. And lastly in the skill attributes he has 73 ball control, 89 finishing, 79 heading accuracy, 83 long shots, 99 shot power which is amazing for a silver player and also 83 volleys. So we can move on to some gameplay now and that will give me a chance to talk about how he performed in game, tell you some positives, tell you some negatives. And firstly we'll get a few negatives out of the way. The first negative is that he has very very poor dribbling. His dribbling in game is only 68 with 67 on the card. That does mean he's pretty slow at turning and he doesn't really take on that many players and get around them as, as I said his dribbling is pretty poor also his work rates are a bit annoying at times with the the medium attacking work rate along with the medium defensive work rate does mean that he's not always right up the pitch and he does drop back a bit but it is sometimes useful if you do like to take long shots. The next thing is his finesse shots are pretty awful to be honest. He only has 56 curve in game which does make his finesse shots pretty bad to be honest. I did try quite a few and unless he was sort of in just inside the box or at a fairly nice angle he wouldn't score them at all and outside the box it wouldn't work. I compared him to the likes of Jesse Rodriguez and Drakowski's finesse shots as they're both in the same team together and Lasogo's finesse shots was much much worse than those two. On to the positives though and as we're talking about shooting there is firstly his long shots and his shot power and the 99 shot power is ridiculous it's really really noticeable in game. He has probably one of the best shots I've seen on silver player this year even better than Inform Elham Dowie in my opinion who I have used is definitely better than that 99 shot power is very very noticeable 83 long shots his long shots felt a lot like last year's his long shots were amazing I didn't score that many but I did get some really nice long shots that you will be able to see in this gameplay and I'm sure if I carry on using him I'll be able to score plenty more long shots in the future the 89 finishing is really noticeable as well if he does go through on goal then as I said his finesse shots are fairly bad but if he does go through on goal the keeper comes out his finesse shots will usually go in but if not you're best off just powering it with him he either powers it with the outside side his foot and it curls into the top corner or he just powers it all, or he just powers it normally and again it will go straight into the top corner. Another thing I like about Inform Lasoga is much like Inform and Boyo last year, he's pretty much the perfect target man. This year, player with 65 pace is just is just enough, it's exactly what you need. It doesn't matter if he's slow, as long as he's tall and strong, that's what you need. The 92 strength makes it pretty much impossible to get for him to get pushed off the ball and as I said he's 6 foot 2 as well and along with the 81 heading wins pretty much every single header. I pretty much put all my goal kicks and my kicks from the keeper straight onto Lasaga's head and we usually win them, flick them onto Jesse Rodriguez who will then play it back through to Lasaga. Lasaga will usually score. Although I didn't actually man manage to score any headers with Lasaga, that's not how I play, that's not my gameplay style. I don't usually go for headers but if you do go for headers then he'll be the perfect player to cross abuse with. So on to my overall thoughts, the positives he's incredibly strong as he's 6 foot 2 with 92 strength. He has the most powerful shot for a silver player in the game and that is the 99 shoot, shot power in game. He doesn't feel too slow as, as I said, last year 65 pace would have been way too slow. A lot of people wouldn't use him but this year it's perfect. It doesn't really matter, it's not noticeable and he's not really that slow. And he does win almost every single header. Negatives, he does a poor dribbling as I said with the 68 dribbling in game. He's also not the sort of player that will go through on goal too often as faster defenders will catch him I know I did say his pace is fine but there are some faster defenders who will obviously still catch up with him and also his finesse shots aren't as good as I hoped taking this all into account I'm going to give him a final rating in terms of value for money I'm going to probably give him three stars out of five as he is fairly expensive but he does warrant 
at that price with his stats, especially the 99 shot power with 80 shooting on the card. And in terms of quality, I'm going to give him four stars. He wasn't perfect, but he was incredibly good, and I really, really enjoyed using him. So there we go guys, that is just about it for my Inform Lasaga player review. If you enjoyed the video, please feel free to give us a like. And if there's anyone else you want me to review or if you want me to do a score builder of that hybrid I used, then please let me know. Also, I may do a review of, of Trakovsky if anyone likes that. But anything else, let me know in the comments section. So thanks for watching.